It was another beautiful day in lockdown and Miss Perry was just waking up. Good morning, Miss Perry. How are you today? That good? Oh no. These lockdowns are taking their toll on Miss Perry. I wonder if she actually knows what day it is. I don't know that. Oh dear, even Alexa doesn't know what day it is. Well, there's nothing else for it. Time to make a nice, yummy cup of tea. That'll wake you up, Miss Perry. Don't touch it. It's hot. That's it. Get yourself a mug. You'll feel better before you know it, Miss Perry. Uh-oh, Miss Perry, you need to watch what you're doing. She hasn't put her glasses on. Oh, no. So, what happened? How did Miss Perry end up putting salt in her tea and not notice that it was there until she drank it? Where did it go? I want you to pause the video for a minute and have a think. What happened to the salt? Well, let's find out. I've got a jug of water here and I've got some salt. As I put my salt into the water, I want you to watch what is happening and decide what is the process that is happening. So I'm going to stir my water and my salt. And you might notice that the salt is starting to mix in with the water and it's starting to not be seen anymore. This is a process called dissolving. Now don't get confused, the salt is not disappearing, it is still in there, it's not going away. It is dissolving, getting smaller inside the water and it's creating something called a salt solution. So eventually, if I stir enough, you will notice that there is less solid salt in the water and there is a cloudy nature to the water. This is because the salt is being held inside the water. Now, this is what I want you to think. Is this a reversible change, which means that we can take the salt out again, or is it an irreversible change that is permanent and we can't get the sauce out ever again? Have a think, pause the video. So this is something called a reversible change. We can get the sauce out again. We can save Miss Perry's morning, but how are we going to do that? Well, that is your challenge. I would like to see how you are going to save Miss Perry's tea. How are you going to get the salt out of the water again? I would like to see your solutions and I would like you to post them onto Twitter so that we can see what you are getting up to and how you're going to save Miss Perry's tea. And I really hope that you come up with some good ideas because I'm really thirsty now. So good luck, have a think, and I can't wait to see how you save Miss Perry's morning. If you're struggling for ideas, here's one that I tried. Put some salty water on a hob and wait for it to boil. And then as it boils, watch what happens. You'll start to see a white residue forming around the saucepan. This will be the salt that was dissolved inside the pan. So try this one at home and see how many other ways you can come up with.